All right, guys, I'm here with my Telecaster, something totally different. And uh, I'm through my Dumble, and I, uh, since the last time I made a video about my Tele here, I put a Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck because I wanted to make it more of a jazz guitar. I, I saw a video of Ted Green playing a Tele, and I was just like, that's, that's what I want to do. So... sounding guitar pickup I've got the the volume and the tone all the way up but normally I kind of roll the tone back like that it just it sounds great I've got a, a Jerry Donahue lead pickup in the bridge. Also, the in-between settings are beautiful. I've got some weird switching going on too. Um, neck pickup, neck bridge in series, uh, humbucker. Then neck bridge in series um, with a coil tap. Uh, then I've got the the neck and bridge just parallel. Beautiful sound, and then just the bridge pickup. And I've got the volume and tone rolled back. Uh, about, about halfway. Uh, the way this thing's wired, you get a pretty. Pretty wide uh, range on the tone knob. But yeah, I'm, I've really been enjoying it. I've taken the Telecaster to almost every gig. This Tele has a. Uh, a fairly small neck, easy to play, and I, I played that Parker Fly for so long that I, I like necks that feel fast. And this neck feels fast. I had to. I, I know this is. Some of you guys are totally against this, but I had to put this Fender decal on here. I, I just didn't feel great about playing a guitar without a headstock logo, um, and I thought about doing a custom logo and just decided to put the Telecaster logo on there so I wouldn't have to explain it a bazillion times. Um, when I, I find that, and it's not like I don't like talking about it, but when you have something that's branded weirdly, like uh, an amp without a logo on it, then you got to tell everybody what it is because everybody wants to know. There's nothing wrong with that, but I've kind of just decided put put the logo on it so that so that you don't have to explain. I guess people just assume it's a people probably assume it's some kind of 
oddball Telecaster made by Fender. Little overdrive, little delay. <laughs> sit here doing that all day long uh it's, it's kind of just the sound of the amp and then the, the sound of the guitar let's try the bridge pickup the bridge pickup is pretty trebly uh i may need to rewire it i have a 250k pot for the tone but i have a 500k on the volume and i have a resistor in there to drop it but it doesn't seem to be doing the thing so you know it sounds great right now to me it's weird sometimes sometimes like plugged into the twin with an overdrive pedal at the the it's maybe too trebly but through the dumble it's like sweet <laughs> to make a separate video about this guitar with the tw playing through the twin reverb so you can hear just the straight telly and twin a lot of people want to hear that so that's the Seymour Duncan 59 and the Jerry Donahue and the bridge oh and they balance wonderfully uh, I mess with them on stage with a screwdriver I'm lower than stage volume in here and so you can go to clean I'm lower than stage volume in here but they still balance pretty good So on stage, that lead pickup seems to be just as loud as the humbucker. In here at a lower volume, the humbucker sounds a little louder. Now I had it set up here really good at home, and then when I got on stage at stage volume, it was like uh, they just weren't quite balanced. So I ended up with the uh, I ended up raising the humbucker some, and it sounds louder here. But on stage, it doesn't seem that way. Stage volume, the single coil just really comes through. So I think it's a perfect, I think they're a perfect match. Turn the overdrive on. So anyway, that's that's the uh, Jerry Donahue lead pickup at the bridge and the Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching.